Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring build video. Today we're going to be using a pure strength build, and talking about some of the reasons that I really do enjoy strength builds. It may honestly be my favorite overall, just because you get really good damage scaling on the two-handed bonuses from heavy infusions, and I tend to two-hand my weapons most of the time. But I would say it's mostly due to the fact that I can use every Ash of War in the game. You're not really limited by element, so when you do an intelligence build, you can't really use a fire or flame art scaling Ash of War. So that really does limit the Ash of Wars you can use on certain builds, like pure faith builds, they can't use things like Waves of Darkness. Because it doesn't allow you to choose Flame Art or Sacred as an option when using an Ash of War like Waves of Darkness, you can't get any faith scaling on your weapon out of this Ash of War. But you always have the option to Heavy or Keen infuse every Ash of War. So Dexterity and Strength builds really have the added bonus of Ash of War variety. As for the stats for the build, I am running kind of a basic strength build. We have 54 strength to maximize the two-handed bonuses. I have the 18 dex because I like to use the great bows. I love using Radon's Rain. So strong, works so well on a strength build as well. And then you have the golden great bow. As for the talisman setup, my first one I swap around, but lately I've been using the green turtle for stamina regen or the spear talisman if I'm using things like the claymore that have a thrust attack. And then I have the shard of Alexander, kind of a stable with how much damage it adds to Ash of Wars for strength builds. And then we have the Bulgo Talisman to reach the poise that I enjoy, and the Urge Tree Savior plus 2 for the HP, Stamina, and a couple of boost. That really covers everything about the build. Let's just see how it performs in the invasions. Ooh, the snowy area, and Walter is the host. I'll try to keep that in mind so we don't hit Walter off the ledge. Because this looks like a really good spot to be using a great bow. Hey, guys. Um. Hey, Walter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to hit you in particular, Walter. Let's go with... Let's use some Waves of Darkness. I feel like we can have some fun with that. Oh! Look at Backstab 9000. Um... I'll let you heal. I want to fight your phantoms. Extra Estus for your host. How kind of you. Am I just being flat out ignored? That's just rude. And inconsiderate on so many levels. Host. You dare after I spared your life. <laughs> Actually, that was pretty weak, to be honest. Bubble blow, though. That's different. You don't see that all the time. I feel like I've been enjoying so many things on this build. We could also go with the R2 of the Barbaric Roar. I wonder why Walter is the first one to fight me, though. And not his teammates. It's an odd choice. Oh my god. He actually had good armor on, but he, unfortunately, he lacked the health, as most people do. <laughs> it's not a very important stat, apparently. <laughs> nope, definitely not. <laughs> oh my. This is very effective. I love Barbaric Roar on like Greatswords and stuff, but having the fast speed with the damage is definitely better. Oh, some Halig Tree action, but I think... Oh yeah, we're actually like above the elevator. Hi guys, how are you? Wizard Pew. Wizard Pew. No follow-up Wizard Pew? Well, let's eat some Wizard Liver. Hey there, guys. Oh my god, is that, that would have been a third moon veil? That might have killed me. I wasn't expecting two moon veils for the price of one. Some explosions. I'm gonna make it hit the wall. Hey there, guys. Whoa. One down. <laughs> Whee! Wizard? Nice, we got rid of one wizard. Bone or random random wait randomness mage okay <laughs> sorry I was trying to read your name but you were rolling a lot now let's see what do we have in here we have a wizard I want my FP back did the wizard go down the lift yes why would you leave your teammates <laughs> when there's two of them you could have 3v1 me what oh my god no. <laughs> I have to say, that's happened to me twice now. In a very short time period, in my level 3 PvP, I did the same thing. I called the elevator up to use it. 
and they walked off into the hole. <laughs> oh, crystal tunnel. Ooh. Hey there. Hey, cat. How are you? Uh, let me just torment one of you guys down there, okay? <laughs> Sorry about that. That was my own bad. I did want to go for it, though. It was fun. Hey there. Hey, cat. This looks like a really fun place to do battle. Someone jumps up here. Oh, lol kick. Wait, is that hitting you down there? I just learned something entirely new. Had no idea. Hey, man. <laughs> poke, poke. 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 Alright, one down. Get some FP. Excuse me. I want some FP. That's just rude. <laughs> there, I will drink my FP, my friend. Bring it. <laughs> okay, I really wanted to try to backstab that. I never would have went well, though. Oh! Well, that does damage. Parkour. Hey there. Hey, cat. Probably not stand here to be honest. L2. Oh no, okay, I told you. Man, the one thing I do enjoy about my level 2 PvP playthrough is though, the damage is really balanced in the mid levels, I would say. I feel like I one shot so many people at meta. They also do immense damage to me, but it's it's definitely a different game balance. Maybe I will make some mid level characters to be honest. Ooh, what's going on here? Hello there. Oh my god, it's a fellow greatsword user. Hello. RT. Uh, is that dragon fire going to come near me, do you think? Hmm. Yeah. Didn't kill me, at least. I don't know who it killed, but it wasn't me. Whoa! I didn't think he'd be running in here. Excuse me. I heard some noises. I was a little in danger. Okay, so... We can hyper armor that. One of the main reasons I like the poise level that I have. Hello, guys. Oh, no, you walked into it. No. But back touching on game balance in terms of Ash of War damage, maybe removing Shard of Alexander could work. You know, as an enjoyer of this talisman, I have to say it makes all Ash of Wars do quite a large amount of damage. It's a really big increase. And I feel like, in general, the hardest hitting things in the game are usually Ash of Wars for the weapon. I'd, I'd prefer them be a mix-up, personally. I don't know if I'm weird for that. I just think that it shouldn't do that much more than all your other attacks. And then on top of that, you have the Shard of Alexander to boost it further. What do you guys think? Would that be a good way to balance the game a little bit in terms of using all your moveset and not just the Ash of Wars? Ooh, Shaded Castle. Well... I see a bunch of fire happening over here. Hello guys, how are you? Can we do something fun? One. Two. Three. <laughs> oh, I did, that extra one wasn't meant to happen, I'm sorry. Surprise! Hey, a whip. You don't see that every day. Oh my god, what is that health? That's crazy. Oh, that was almost the end. Where's that? Was that? Is he not here? You're not gonna allow your host to help. You should. Oh, uh, why does he look so low HP? Well, this is why poise is important. You can hyper armor through other great sword swings. <laughs> well, <laughs> that ends that. I kind of feel bad for the host though. Almost look like a starting wizard. <laughs> I just saw a Grizz Grizzleby? Grisby. And Ego 28 and Grisby. Oh my god, hang on. I just love how effective the bow can be. Uh, we're gonna hit Grizzleby like this. He's the wizard. Wait a second. Oh, if you could time it to when they go under some type of object, like a bridge, you are chillin'. Hello, Severed Millennia. 
All right, I'm coming in, guys. Um, what do we want to use here? Let's use the Claymore. My fan favorite, you know. Do I still have the arrow boost on? I do. Hi, guys. You see me? I was going to say, interesting choice. Oh, my God, to keep attacking. Do you think that'll beat this, or will this beat that? Ah, you kind of, you dodged out of it, so I didn't really get to test it, but that's fine. We do have options for Millennia. Um, I don't want to walk in your frostbite, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't expecting all those attacks. Come here, Millennia, LT. Oh boy. Okay. Those Katanas have some pretty long reach. Get deeked. <laughs> the absolute dodge. That does immense damage as well, though. Can't leave that. Okay. <laughs> Every time I'm not ready for that because I want to test the hyper armor. Oh, the range on that is pretty immense. Hey guys, hang on. I need you to relax. Okay? Oh, I didn't want you to die though. That's unfortunate. Oh, that would have knocked you out of it. And then we could have maybe went for a backstab. <laughs> well, fun fight, boys. Ooh, the Halig tree with fob. I kind of like fighting out here. I feel like I don't get a lot of battles. And I feel like it's going to remain that way because they went down the elevator. <laughs> this is a dead end though, right? Hello, wizard. Wait, what? Oh, there's the elevator. Hi, guys. I'm going to send this up. Oh, I can't. You have to send it up. Hi, guys. Oof. You should really help your wizard out. <laughs> Ooh. I need some FP back. I am poisoned, so there's that. Ooh, Valiant. You have such a good connection to me, honestly. Pretty crazy. This is such a good Ash of War. <laughs> oh my god. It's like the get off me button 9000. Like, you get some hyper armor, <laughs> stuns, it does massive damage. It's like a faster Waves of Darkness. Well, we begin the match, and I see fire right away. Hello there, guys. How are you? I'm going to just do this. Hello. And then maybe... Oh, my God. That did so much damage. A thousand off an R2. I mean, I know Warcry is good on the bonk sticks, but that one was really good. <laughs> what if I get the whole thing if I fully charge it here? Hey there. I'm 700 off the one hit. That's crazy. And then we get the hyper armor as well. This definitely feels a lot more like the reinforced club that I used to love using in Dark Souls 3. Oh, some Ferramazula action with Frodo Bolsero. Don't tell me they're fighting the dragon. I feel like that's a pretty common. Oh, they're not! Hello there. How are you? Isn't that a cute outfit? L2. Oh man, that does a lot of damage against him. L2. <laughs> yeah, spinning slash is so good on the warp dax because it's the fast spinning slash. Hey man. <laughs> I didn't even know you existed, to be honest. Oh, that is a rough call for you. Now we have our wake up, maybe? Oh no, he rolled back into it. Oh, that's rough. We'll give you a bow, though. Oops, no. That is so not what I wanted to do. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wanted to bow. But yeah, I figured having a quick swap to Black Flame Tornado would be very optimal. You can use it as wake-ups, sort of. Really good crowd control. Well, if this isn't an interesting situation, allow me to just bow one of you. I don't know why I jumped right there. Hi, guys. Um, Which one is the wizard? Joker, you look like you would get hit by this. Joker did indeed get hit by this. Next up is Danny Phantom. About to take some Danny arrows to the face. Hey, hey you want to challenge me to a bow off? I'm game. Our, oh, the host died. I was down for a bow fight completely. Another one of the reasons I love strength builds. The mountaintop of the giants, but I got the bad spawn, unfortunately. Seems like there's at least two of them... What was doing so much damage to him? Maybe that dueling knight. Mm. 
let's just hope they survive. Where am I? Oh. Wait. What? They're in the boss fight. What in the... What? Well, can I snipe? You know what? Can I snipe from here? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Is there a blue phantom spawning behind me right now? I'm pretty sure that is. Alright, I gotta hit the snipe. Whoa! Oh. Wait. Oh my god! This is so weird. I'm evil, but you know what? You're using dragon breath. I'll help. <laughs> I'm so confused. What's hitting me? <laughs> Where'd the blue go, by the way? <laughs> Wait, the blue went down the lift. This is just hilarious. By blue. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Blue, hang on a second. <laughs> Literal snipe. Thread the needle? No. Come on, Niall. Good, good teamwork, yes. <laughs> That's so weird, though. This is the one time I think I've been able to hit someone while they're in a boss fight. Definitely a momentous occasion. All right, those are all the invasions that I have for you guys for today with the Pure Strength build. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you have any recommendations of Ashes of War or weapons that you guys enjoy in your Strength build, feel free to comment them below. As well as any weapons or things you'd like to see me use in the future, always feel free to recommend those. Until the next video, this is goodbye. I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.